Hello and welcome to our how-to series. In this video we'll be showing how to convert a SketchUp model to a Revit family. In SketchUp you'll want to have your materials window open, your shadow settings, and your layers window. Let's go ahead and turn off the shadow setting so it makes it a little easier to see um, what we're doing. And here we have a simple chair. The first thing we're going to do is save it as a different model so that we don't actually write over it and I'm just going to call it by layer and you'll see why I call it that and then what we want to do is select all and you'll see that there are some groups in here and we're going to explode and just to make sure we've exploded check again and the word explode is grayed out so yes we did do everything and deselect now we want to create some layers and I'm going to call this um, the plastic and then we create another one and we'll do this for the metal those are the legs and then we're going to add another one for the seat bottom and let me show you what that is it's that uh, darker gray piece down there so now that we have that, we want to select and put into each of those layers the polygons or the surfaces. So we select that and then we're going to come in here and you select by all with same material. And then you'll see that they're all highlighted. And then we, what we need now is go up to our window and entity info. And then we're going to just select the plastic and everything goes into that group. What I like to do is to then turn that off so that I know everything's gone in there. Now I'll pick something of the metal material and select all with the same material and then we go up to our entity info and we'll do the metal. Once again we'll turn that off and make sure everything goes off and then in this case everything's selected so we'll just uh, this one piece and we'll put that into the seat bottom and then we'll turn that off and everything should be gone. Then what I like to do is go ahead and delete uh, any groups that aren't necessary and we'll move contents to default layer even though there's nothing in that layer. But in case there is, at least you won't delete it and you'll be able to see that there's still something there. So now let's go ahead and turn everything back on. Now we have it by layer. What we're going to do now is we are going to get rid of all the material colors in the file. And we do this because when we take it into Revit, we want to have to uh, we want to know that we don't we're not bringing in any excess uh, materials. Uh, Revit imports both the layer color and the material color and you'll see once we get to Revit what that means. So I'm going to save this as... Oh, maybe I should save it first. And then save as. And now I will say no material. Now you come up to your materials box and just right click on that and say delete. And yes, I want to get rid of that. Delete yes, delete, yes, and now you'll see that we have a chair with the default materials and you want to make sure that we have this kind of a greenish yellow default color and you don't have the blue color. Now if I go in here and select one and reverse the face it's going to turn blue and you don't want to see anything that has that blue on it. You want it all to be the uh, this other greenish yellow color. So once we have that, let's go ahead and save. And now we're ready to export. So we do that by going to export, click on 3D model, and it's fine. You can call it whatever you want. Um, we could make it simple. And you go into your options. And you want only faces turned on. You don't want any of these others. If you have edges turned on, 
when uh, you go into the Revit, you're going to have these big black thick edges even when you have it in shaded only mode. So you want faces only. And we'll hit OK and we'll export it. And it says OK. So now we're going to go on over to Revit now. OK, so now we're in Revit and we want to uh, start with a new family. So we come down here to Families, hit New. Scroll down to find furniture. This is not a system furniture, just furniture. Open that up. And you'll get the um, default right view. And then it pops you up to, here we go. And um, so let's go to the uh, 3D view. And then to bring in the model, you go over and click up here on the insert import CAD and let's find the model there it is you want to make sure that you have this on black and white if you do uh, preserve you're gonna get uh, multicolors on the actual wireframe and then all the layers um, you want to make sure that what you're importing it as is the same um, unit and uh, we were working in inches in SketchUp so that's correct and here if you do auto origin to origin it will come in uh, at the same place as in SketchUp and then you just leave that at reference level and then we go open and let's go find it there it is so right now we have our wireframe Something I like to do is just check to make sure that it looks like it's to scale, and it seems to be um, that I didn't make any mistake on that. And uh, let's go back to the 3D view. So right now, if we turn on shading, you're going to see that it has odd colors, and that's just because it's bringing in the, uh, the layer colors of SketchUp. So we want to actually get rid of those. And um, how we do that is that uh, we'll go over to manage and uh, then we go to materials and these are those there that we see in the shaded view so we're just going to delete all those okay so now we want to create the new ones. So how we can do that is just a copy and that's right here and let's just give them the same names. I think we said plastic. You could do it by um, color or however you, you would like to do that and uh, we'll click on probably saw that use render appearance for shading so that we know that we're getting the right color and here we're gonna do the RGB so it more or less looks like the SketchUp model and uh, but what was that color so let's go back to our SketchUp model and let's get the previous one let's save that and then by layer and let's go ahead and click on that and then click on edit and that's just 25500 those are the RGB values and then let's go back to the Revit and we'll click on this button here and go 25500 now we need to make one for the metal and let's copy that and we'll call it metal and then we need to know what it is and we can click on that select the light color edit and that's uh, RGB values so that's gonna be 202 all three times so let's go down to our here we click on this and then we go oh what was that 202 it's close enough and then we need to do one more so here we have that seat bottom go back to our SketchUp hit select select it go back it's 105 three times so let's go here and we'll do put that in 
So now we have our three colors, our three materials, and we hit OK. Now you see that we deleted those previous ones, so it went to a default material color. Now to assign them, we go over to Settings, Object Styles, and in here you'll see uh, that we have our layers. And um, sometimes it will come up like that. You just click on the little plus sign and you'll get them. And we don't actually need the zeros, so let's go ahead and delete that one. No reason to have extra stuff lying around. And then over here is the materials. And we click on that box and then the three little dots will take us to the material. And we go metal. And then this one will just assign the plastic. and the seat bottom. And we'll hit OK. And there we have our three materials and that's our chair. So at this point you want to save it out or even take it into a little test project to make sure everything renders well and works for you. Hope this has been helpful.